Well, the results of the Karnataka CET exam 2014, which was conducted on the 1st and 2nd of May, will be announced today. Now, this year, the written examination was held on the 1st of May and the 2nd of May in four different sessions for four subjects. Now, the provisional answer keys had been released on the 8th of May on the official website of the KEA or the Karnataka Examination Authority. Admissions will be based on merit and rank secured in the Karnataka CET 2014. The candidates can select as many courses as they desire is subjected to eligibility. However, there will only be three rounds for seat allotment. In fact, the result of the Karnataka Common Entrance Test or the CET exam 2014, which was conducted on the 1st and 2nd of May, will be declared today. That's the 27th. Now, the Karnataka Examination Authority conducts the Karnataka Common Entrance Test for admissions to various undergraduate and professional courses of medicine and homeopathy as well. In fact, uh, the results of the Karnataka CET exam 2014, which was conducted on the 1st and 2nd of May, will be announced today. Now, it was written in uh, four different sessions for four subjects. The provisional answer keys had been released on the 8th of May on the official website of the KEA. Now, admissions will be based on merit and rank secured in the Karnataka CET 2014. The candidates can select as many courses as they desire as subjected to eligibility. However, there will only be three rounds for seat allotment. Well, in fact, the courses uh, covered under uh, Karnataka CET are medical dental, that is MBBS, BDS, Ayurveda, Homeopathy, Unani, Naturopathy and Yoga, Engineering, Technology, Architecture, B.Sc. in Agriculture, Forestry, Sericulture, Agri, Biotech, Horticulture, Home Science, Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry, B.Tech in Food Tech, Dairy Technology, Fishery Science, Food Science and Technology, Agro-Marketing and Cooperation and Agricultural Engineering. Well, moving on, residents of ex-servicemen's colony are up in arms against a commercial development in their locality. But the building owner claims it's a protest by vested interest groups. Here's more on this story. Commercial activities in residential areas are a growing problem in Bengaluru. And this building in Arti Nagar has kicked up a storm for that precise reason. This is an under construction building in ex servicemen's colony in Arti Nagar. Residents are alleging that the owner of the building, Dr. Vinod, is constructing this building and is opening an orthopedic hospital while the approval is for a residential building. Residents feel that they will face more hardship as the 30 feet small road already faces traffic problems and if a hospital is opened, it will add to the misery. They have also approached the commissioner complaining that commercial activity is being planned in a residential zone. The doctor, he took uh, as a residential uh, approved plan and constructed a big hospital, Artho Hospital. So for which, uh, yeah, so for which, uh, you know, the, um, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, vehicles are with the uh, uh, patients and uh, ambulance, they may come is entire road would be blocked. So for which we are resident facing a very big problem. Plan approval residential, purely residential. Is there construction residential? He took approval from the concerned authority BMP and he constructed a hospital, commercial, which is commercial. The residents feel that their peaceful existence will be disturbed if the hospital comes up and they have no other option but to leave the area. Dr. Vinod, who runs Ganga Nagar Orthopedic Clinic, 
claims that he doesn't plan to start a hospital but a residential complex. He also claims that people with vested interests were trying to trouble him to corner his property. Well, with allegations and counter-allegations surfacing, it is up to the commissioner to take a call. If that doesn't happen, then one of the parties is sure to approach the court. Harish Upadhyaya, News 9, Bengaluru. Now, how often do you get to attend your grandfather's 100th birthday? Well, here is a man who has spawned a family of 106 and went on to celebrate his 100th birthday like royalty. He was paraded like a king on a throne for his 100th birthday celebrations. Ramachandra Bhatt made quite an entrance for his family of 106. For the residents of a small village, Karkala in Udupi, this family is nothing less of royalty, all thanks to Ramachandra's wise words and helpful nature. His 100th birthday was not just special for his many descendants, but also the rest of the town. This is a very unique program as we see, because uh, these days we rarely see people who have completed 100 years and then who are still very active and then healthy. Uh, and our grandfather is one among them and uh, all 106 uh, fac uh, family members of uh, uh, his, uh, we decided to celebrate this uh, 100th year celebration in a grand way. He might look like he's having just another normal day, but for Ramachandra's family of 106, it was nothing less of the grandest of occasions. His birthday was an open invite for everyone in town and the celebrations were a result of months of preparations in advance. In this rural area, all the people of this, of this village, they have attended this program and they have enjoyed a lot and everybody participated uh, with full cooperation. The cooperation was very nice in this program. The large family has branched out and spread across the country. From the local Tulu and Kannada to Konkani and Marathi, the family sees more than just linguistic diversity. What started out as a family of farmers now has doctors, engineers, bankers and even entrepreneurs. It's a great occasion for all of us because all my family members, all 106 members are present here, which usually doesn't happen due to their schools, colleges and uh, other works. But uh, because of this, everybody has come from various states actually. Having planned a big family, Ramachandra's descendants moved out of the small town and settled in other parts of the country. But one thing they never lost was their love for family. So for this we have actually started preparations from two or three months in advance. First we actually felt it was a very light moment but then everybody became very serious in the preparation. So because of that it's a result that everybody is present here today. And uh, we all love our great grandfather and uh, I'm very proud to say that I'm one of the first uh, great grandchildren what he had. While many hope to grow old with their better half, Ramachandra Bhatt was lucky enough to grow old with his own children, one of them who recently turned 80. No stone was left unturned to ensure that he had a grand 100th birthday and this was done in the most traditional way possible. From elaborate pujas and abhishekams to cultural dance and music programs, almost all his grandchildren to great-grandchildren performed. It was nothing less than a festive occasion for the people of Karkala. Arabalachi Yogaraj, News 9, Udupi.